this video we'll talk about how to use LaTeX to create a scientific poster. Just like in the last video on a slideshow, we're going to use a different document class than we did for creating an article, but a lot of the same commands that we used we're also going to be able to use in making the poster. So the document class we're going to talk about today is SciPoster, S-C-I Poster. And there are a couple of options optional arguments that I have in this code. The uh, argument A1 has to do with paper size. Plain boxed sections has to do with how sections look on the poster. And then landscape tells LaTeX to produce a landscape poster rather than a portrait poster. I have several use package commands in my preamble just like we've seen before. And then I've got a command called left logo, and then the name of a PDF file. This PDF file is the UNC Chapel Hill logo, and this 1.25 in square brackets is telling LaTeX to scale it uh, to a, a little bit larger size, 1.25 1, 1 times the size that it originally is. I've got another command called no right logo, that's uh, just to tell the program that I'm not going to put a logo on the right side. There also is a command called right logo that works exactly like left logo. Now we've got the title command and the author command, which I've filled out. Institute, just like we saw in the Beamer slideshow. Notice that I've got the name of my institution and then a double backslash and then my email address. What that does is put the name of the institution and then on the next line puts my email address. There actually is another command called email that you can also use to put in your email address. Also there's a command backslash conference where you can type the name of the conference that you're presenting your poster at and that goes in the bottom left corner of the poster. Now the next code here will look familiar. We have the usual begin document command and then the make title command. You may remember that from when we created an article. So this starts the poster and then puts all of this title information at the top. Now the next thing that we want to do that distinguishes this poster from what we've seen before is we want to use the multi calls environment. And that comes out of the package multi call which I've got up here in the preamble. This environment divides the poster into multiple columns. So in this case, I'm saying multi begin multi calls and then in curly braces the number two. That means produce two columns. If we change that to three, that would produce three columns. And then this, this next command under there, set length column set rule zero point dictates how much space should be left between columns. I'm setting that to zero point, meaning there's going to be no white space between columns, but you can obviously adjust that to how you want. You can also add abstracts to posters with the usual begin and end abstract environment. You can do sections as we see here, and you can even do references just like we see here. I'm going to go ahead and compile this so we can see what it looks like. Here's the start of our poster. We've got a title here, name and, name and affiliation information here. This is the logo. And one thing to keep in mind if you're going to be using a logo, say for a, a PDF file logo, the, the PDF file needs to be in the same folder as your tech file, just as we've seen before with including figures. Here are the uh, sections. We've got the abstract is the first section and the, and the poster goes down the first column and then down the second column. Now in this particular case I specified the A1 option for my paper size and, and you can see that this produced paper uh, that is 33.06 by 23.39 inches. You can change that pretty easily. For example, I could say A0 
And now my dimensions are larger, 46.78 by 33.06. To see some of the various options for paper size, I recommend you go to the Sci Poster Manual, which is available at this website. Here we can see the actual dimensions of the various paper sizes. There are several options available. A0 is one of them, A1, those are the two that we've seen, and here are their dimensions in centimeters. It also tells you what the normal font size is because that changes based on the paper size. This document also tells you how to set a custom paper size. The pages 6 and 7 of this document walks you through the steps for setting custom paper size. Now, as far as adding content is concerned, it's exactly the same steps as we've seen in creating an article and creating a slideshow. So for example, under the heading section 1 here, I've got an itemized environment and I'm listing those three citations that we saw in the Beamer slideshow. And so the main thing to notice here is just simply that the itemized environment works exactly the same as we've seen it before. Um, I could even go over to our example article and copy and paste some text from there. So here's an equation that we use. And notice that that equation gets added just as we've seen before. Also another thing I want to point out is uh, in, that I included a option to the NatBib package called Numbers. And this tells NatBib to, instead of putting the author year as the citation, to put a number to each citation. And so what we can see is in this bolded list, each of the different ones gets a number assigned to it. Over here in the references, you can see that the numbers match up here. I, the reason I like to do this in posters is because it oftentimes will allow you to write out a citation with fewer text space. You know, one of the nice things about posters is that you can convey information quickly and easily to people, but in order to do that, you want to limit how much text is on the poster so they don't get overwhelmed. And so that's an easy way of doing that. And finally, one last thing to show you is that figures work exactly the same as we've seen before. So this is some code from our example article where we created this figure. And if I include that code and compile it, you can see that the figure gets produced here. Now notice that's pretty small. So I'm going to go ahead and change the scale parameter. Remember I mentioned this in the Beamer video as well. Sometimes you need to adjust the scale argument a bit when you're going from an article class to a slideshow or a poster. That's a little bit bigger, but actually I could make that even bigger still. Let's say I went all the way to scale equals one. Now that fits the space fairly well. So those are the basics of creating a poster in LaTeX. There are obviously lots of other options that you can use. I recommend taking a look at the Sci Poster manual to get more tips and uh, other details of how to use this class. Thank you.